Hey guys, John Vapor Honing Technologies here working with some Honda Civic valve covers uh, that were sent in by a customer. Uh, they wanted to remove the original coating, um, but in this case, there were multiple coatings on this particular part, and they wanted to bring them back to a raw OEM looking finish. Uh, there are multiple options within the automotive space uh, that you can use a vapor honing system for. Obviously, you can do coating removal, coating prep um, with the same abrasive. It's a very quick, clean, dust-free, chemical-free process, um, something that is super repeatable and very quick than traditional dry methods. Also, you can bring parts to a finish such as this. Uh, this part is extremely smooth and very detailed. Um, one of the key components of a vapor honing system is that we're flow based. So we're not eroding away the material. We're only removing coatings and contamination on the surface and we're not eroding the base metal. So you get a very smooth, very consistent, almost polished like new condition if you choose with the right abrasive. Um, you may have seen in the earlier previous video, we were talking about abrasive selections and surface roughness, so on and so forth. That is huge and key to the success of a vapor honing system. We have extensive experience with abrasive selection, machine selection, and of course, tight process control parameters that you can set up and put into place basically for your business. Um, there are only a couple ways to remove coatings. Uh, you have to have the pressures right. You have to have the abrasives right, of course. Um, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. And of course, to get beautiful results like this, there's certainly a process involved in doing so. Um, one of the key things that I do wanna point out with any blasting process, specifically vapor honing, is you must be very patient with a process. You have to be very, very, very sensitive um, and, and meticulous um, when doing this process. You can't just blast this part to smithereens. It's not gonna work. You have to have some detail. Um, it's almost like an art form in many ways. Um, you can imagine, I mean, there's some detail on this part, so you have to take your time. It's all about the angles of blasting, specifically when you're trying to remove coatings. And then of course, when you come over here and you try to get this beautiful end result. Um, again, I've seen it all too many times on the web here recently. People are trying to take an approach, um, very inexperienced approach to either removing coatings, prepping for coatings, or polishing parts. And it, it, it shows very, very much so. Um, it's all about even where you get the abrasives from, who manufactures the abrasives. There are so many details involved in a vapor honing process. And again, for any blasting process, um, but abrasive selection is key and even where you get that abrasive. Even, for example, glass beads. Glass beads are not always the same from different manufacturers. Even lots um, vary lot to lot. Uh, we've had many times where we've had pH issues uh, with specific lots. And obviously with pH issues, you're gonna have problems um, doing things like this. And, and you'll find that out pretty quickly. Uh, the process, can, I mean, it will vary tremendously. Uh, it's not a very common thing, but it is something that can happen and you must be aware of that. But we have the knowledge, we have the experience on how to help you take something that looks like this and turn it into something that looks like this if you so choose. And think about how massive that's gonna change your business. It's gonna change the whole trajectory of your business. Um, you're gonna make more money because you're gonna save more time. And also you're gonna provide people with more value when you give them something back that looks like this versus the part on the left. So give us a call, shoot us an email. We're always here, happy to help figure out a process and a piece of equipment that actually works for you and your budget. As always, thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily, weekly content updates. Take care.